Okay, hang on, I gotta tag Stacy. So anyway, this puppy is, I put him outside, so of course he's, Deborah. Okay, so the puppy is excited. That's going to be a normal. You know, when they first come out, you're going to start utilizing that, not try to tell it to calm down. He's got a, he's bundles of energy. Oh, he's bundles of energy. Just you're communicating with that word. If it was, oh hi Mary, Mary, how's everything going up there, girl? Is it still winter? I hope it's snowing out, girl. I don't know how people stand it. Don't leave it where it can get on the counters, girl. If if you said, well, I've I've got a a, a child that's a drug addict, and how do I keep it from getting into the pills in the cabinet? Don't, don't have any pills in the cabinet. Don't have the opportunity pr to provide itself. If you said a six-month-old dog should know. A six-month-old dog, ugh, people don't even know anything until they're like 50, at least. So it doesn't know anything. Your job is to understand it must have had success, and you have to just keep the, it out of the kitchen. You have to keep it in a crate or keep baby gates or whatever. It just, it's not going to, you saying not do it isn't going to work. It's going to do it when you're not looking. to it, you know, with the little extra little arm movements. I'm really not moving that much. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just, you know, and it's, it's all about a thought process, you know, Deborah. Once we're in the, I want to stop doing this. I want it to stop doing that. We're, we're not really teaching anything. If you said, well, so if I inundate it with a lot of things that it can do, a lot of these things. So if you said, so is what you're trying to say, like people should put their kids in sports to keep them out of trouble? Yes. So you go and get a working breed and then, you know, people don't actively train them and then they don't want it to do this. They don't want it to do that. That's the very common. I don't want it doing this. I don't want it doing that. I don't want it doing. It's like, well, what do you want it doing? It's a dog. That's what they do. If there's food, they try to get it. So you've got to either secure the counters. I don't know. I'm sure they have these. Uh, here, here's an idea. Let's invent some kind of bread box thing. Dog proof. Your dog never could be broken of getting on the counter. Here, buy this bread rocks. He can't get in there. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about. I mean, it's you're not gonna it's not gonna decide. She told me not to do it, so I won't do it. First, there just has to be no opportunity. You precious and adorable dog. Oh, careful. Oh my gosh, I've never seen one just crash. Oh my God, he's so cute. So that's the first thing that has to change. Your mindset has to change. You're saying it's just going to keep outwitting you, girl. Trust me. It's just going to figure out ways to outwit you. If you sit there and say, no, 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 don't touch something. And then you leave the room and it does it and you punish it. And nah, 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 nah. it's not going to work. It's going to really stuff on your counter. I mean, if you said, so I have to make a concession. If I have a joke. Oh, she's a precious baby. 
Yes, you have to make concessions. They like to steal food. Oops. Hang on, I got two different kind of treats in here. I don't want to give them the cup around. Oh, you little Mr. Man. All right, hang on. Let me go get some of these other different treats. I'm going to get those pepperonis. Peanut, he waited right there for me. You little peanut. So I get a brother. He, he's already excited because I came back. I'm not gonna give him a chance to jump on me. I just immediately start in with the. Let's go this way. Oh, he's perfect for you, Stace. Tell Mark you want the. If not, I do have someone else that wants him, but. I do think he's perfect for you. And he's so cute. <laughs> he's just got that Johnny on the spot. All right, so I'm already eyeing the footstool. I'm headed there. You know, I'm giving this little kind of cross movement, making it seem like I'm going faster than I am. Hi, oh, Lorenzo. Is this thing the damn cutest? I like that little rumba thing Janice gave me. One, the color scheme goes with it. And two, it is a good little platform for a puppy. Oh. But look, already, look, Lorenzo, I'm already taking off. I want you to think of it like I can drop off the food, but I can't stay. I can drop it off, but I can't stay. So when people say that to me, I say, oh, that's fine. I completely understand. Just drop off the food, though. <laughs> You know, your job is, you know, on some level, you've got to think of it as a timed event. Well, I don't want him to do a lot of things too, but we need to understand jumping is a normal finding in dogs. And for you to keep reacting to it by saying don't jump up is probably inadvertently reinforcing it. You, you've, it, the first step to getting them to stop doing things you don't like is inundate them with things you do like. It really is. If I just said, I don't like this about you, I don't like that about you. Ugh. You know, it would be better to start, I love this about you. I love this about you. Let's expand this part of your personality. <laughs> Someone said that to me. I love this part of you, but let's expand that. Not Let's get rid of the bad part of your personality. <laughs> okay, so remember, this dog now has, so I've done a bunch of motion. Now he's all moved. So now I can get him laying down. He has a default down. And I just have to give him the, oh, <laughs> he crashes. I just have to give him the arm, watch. He already looked at the ground. Oh, 
he might just come and lay next to me. I'm training him to be a perfect companion. Says, anyway, if tell Mark if you want him or whatever. I'll work with him for a couple more weeks so you can get ready. So you can get the house ready. You haven't had a puppy in four years. I can't believe Berkeley lived to be 16, though. You see what I'm saying? If some of these of mine gonna live to be 16, I, how old do they live? I thought they always lived to be 12. He's trying to decide what he wants. He wants to get up here. I'm just gonna drink some water. Anyway, he just, I saw him defaulting to downing over there. If he said, why doesn't he go to the door and stuff like the other ones? Because he doesn't normally go out the front door and Oliver and all those assholes. Okay, so I got my little tray. 
Okay, he already hears the watches. You little peanut. He was already up there, so he should probably get back up there. Oh, he's absolutely precious. You can see that noise. I mean, I need to buy a bulk of these watches. I'm sure I can get a whole case of them from China for like $2. It's probably like a thousand. He's going to fall down in the tray. All right, let's see if I can get him laid down. to say to yourself, he's fighting himself, his wife's not doing it. Me trying to make him fight him too. Then what's two against two? It's two against one. See the behavior? If you said, well, that was the false start. And I want you to understand, a false start is The behavior starts to occur, it, it's not always a foregone conclusion. It's, if you said, what's the odds? It just depends. He put it right in my hand. If you don't wear a watch, Stacey, I'll get a clock. I'll get him to get a clock for you. <laughs> he put it right in my hand. So if you said, what do you like? I like the fact he's facing the hammer. Okay, so if you said, now what? So what, who cares? I have two watches. <laughs> really? Wow. So if you said, then what? Then you're just doing it as a double watch. He helped himself because his foot made it make a sound. So you're just doing it as the double. You're just moving ahead to the next step. And it works. It works. All right, so there's one. <laughs> Stacy, I hope you saw that. He grabbed both of them at once. Remember, Remy did that. He already jengas. Let me make sure you can see that. My God, he's unbelievable. Remy, break a new Z. What you little peanut? So I just go to the next step, which is just keep looking, and it turns it into a double. If you're there, Lauren, that's how you're kind of doing it. You're turning it into a double by just skipping ahead to the next part, then you're making it a triple or whatever. You're still safeguarding the singular behavior, though. You're not just suddenly making it, you know, into a quadruple. Okay, so if you said then now what? Now he brings it to the um, he brings it to the footstool too. So he was already kind of getting it in there and taking it away. You're just kind of doing the same thing. He's still taking it away, just taking it over there. <laughs> you little <mean> it. <laughs> oh my god, he's unbelievably cute. That's where we're at, so. You know, you're just kind of, remember, he started to kind of start taking it away. And so I just, if that's the baseline behavior, I'm not gonna say, well, I don't want it taken away. It's, it's taking it away, I just have to take it away over here. It likes going on the first, oh, shh, precious little man. Yeah, 
You know, if you're there, Lorenzo, I was making it seem, just for that short little distance right there, I was making it seem like my feet were, bars, uh, what was that, like the 70s, I don't know, they had that one thing where the guy was always boogieing on down or something, hitchhiking something, I don't remember. I'm making it look like there's more motion than there is. So, anyway. Uh, oh, here, Lorenzo, come look here. Oh, you might not be off today. No, he's probably at work. He can't come on. Sorry, I don't know why we didn't do it yesterday. Oh, hi, Sam. That's what you got to think of, Sam. You've got to get this book called Training and Drive by this German guy, Godfrey. And if you said, how is the German guy going to help me? The Germans invented dog training. They really did. But you've got to just get this dog into some motivational work and then factor the collar into that. I'll be putting a collar on this puppy soon if he's still here. If you said in what aspect to let it know, which I'm taking off. You know, if it's trying to always... If you're the antidote to running, if, if you're not introducing the collar in motion, you're doing it wrong. It's true. There's only two ways to introduce it, in motion or stationary. And if you said, why would you always have a bias towards motion? Motion is always going to be more heightened reality than stationary for dogs. So in other words, if you can get them going fast, get a lot going on and introduce it then it's you're in a different physiological state the collars entering the dynamic becoming a part of what you know if the dog's already sitting there kind of droopy and then just sit there and add constant yeah all right guys listen i'm gonna make some quick videos i'll be right back